Hello. Last time we were having a look at having an interview with yourself and getting some interesting ideas from your songwriting in order to inform your production. So here we are. Today we're actually focusing on the music and uh, I would like you to have a look into my Logic Pro session um, where we're going to have a look at how I arranged the song, how I used those ideas to fulfill my vision uh, and how all of these elements are fitting together. Um, what I have here for you today um, is group stems of my project. Um, what are stems, first of all? Um, stems are audio tracks of the instruments that you put in the arrangement of your song. Um, and group stems means that they're just arranged into groups according to their function. So what we have here is drums. So we've got a group stem of everything that is part of the rhythm section in terms of percussions, real drums, anything electronic. Um, we've got a double bass, we've got lead, which means uh, lead vocals, my voice recorded. We've got main guitar, uh, guitar riffs and strings. So now let's have a look at the Logic project. I would like to start with something that is quite fundamental um, in the arrangement that I mentioned earlier. The overall vibe and rhythm of the song was built upon the guitar. Uh, that is reminding me of my Italian and Congolese heritage. Um, so I would like to start by isolating the guitars and the guitar riffs that I wrote underneath. This is your main guitar. And these are the melodies that are creating this counterpoint. And here you have the vocals. So all of the other elements that I have put into this project are inspired by the rhythm and the atmosphere created by the guitars and by the vocals. So let's add some drums. I'm just going to isolate drums for you. There's real drums. Um, a layer of more produced electronic drums and a shaker, um, a few different elements. And you might hear the tambourine that I mentioned earlier. Let's just bring back the guitars as well. Now we're adding double bass. You almost, you're almost not hearing double bass because it just doesn't need to be such a big part of your arrangement. Finally, I'm going to add the last layer of the production of this whole song, which is strings. Um, strings were arranged by an incredible musician called Kadia Bonet, and um, she was able to create an arrangement that had some elements that were taken by the melodies on the guitars, the melodies on vocals. Um, and that's the power of actually working with people that do understand your vision and do understand what are the core elements um, of your songwriting. Let's go back to the beginning. arrangement and the production of this track. The track is not mixed, uh, but you can hear all of the elements really well. Um, I'd love to know what you think about it and it'd be interesting to see how you manage to take some of the elements from your interview and put them into your own very unique and personal production. 
Next time, we're going to have a look at how to create wonderful, inspiring visuals, taking actually inspiration from the interview that you did on video one. So hopefully you'll be able to do the same thing with the music and the visuals. See you in the next video.